So yeah, why do you travel? <laughs> why do I travel? It's, it's become such a habit now. I'm trying to remember why I initially travel. I, you know what? It's because I like excitement, adversity, diversity. I think that primarily motivates me. I don't want to be humdrum. So this is Alder. And Alder splits pretty easy. Around here, we can never get enough wood. I like the feeling of adversity. I like challenges. And I have a, a physical limitation, and I think that motivated me to do more physical things, because physically, I wasn't able to do as much uh, because of the atrophy of the muscles in my legs. So I thought, okay, well, I don't want to stop doing things, because there's going to come a day I'm not going to be able to. And so I want to get this done now. And that day is coming to pass. You know, I can, you know, walking up the driveway, I'm like, oh, okay, I hope I don't trip and fall down. So rather than being a detriment, I know that it has motivated me to do more and travel is the thing I do now. And it's always good. You know, I don't have bad experiences because of my condition. I'm driven by not having regrets. If there's something I want to do or something I want to achieve, I'm going to move towards that. And I, one of the reasons I built this place or decided to go ahead with the log home was uh, visiting a village um, in Masai Mara in Kenya. And they're living in huts. And I'm looking around and how happy they were. And I thought, if these people can live like this, and if Egyptians could do those pyramid things, I can certainly tackle building a log home. And I remember standing in that village going, I'm going to do it. And so that was, you know, kind of an epiphany. It's like, by golly, you know, I'm going to go ahead with this. So when I built the first, uh, the footprint in 2002, deck in 2003, master bedroom study 2004, that took a month. And then the master bathroom, I wasn't in a rush, it took me two years. But uh, my son said, have you ever gonna be done with this place? I said, I hope not. This is just like, I don't ever wanna be done traveling. I'm glad to know that I'm gonna die before I'm done because I could live for 200 more years, I will never be done. So yeah. I don't, I don't plan to stop. So this is the dream catcher. You know, dream catcher fits, and it was named that before I even built the place, and it's come to exemplify the life I live now with my travels. Having done this, it was a goal as a kid, and so it's that along with my travel and the things I bring into this place from my travels, there's something, there's gotta be one thing in here at least from every country I've been to. So this home has literally caught my dreams. So it's, dream catcher isn't the thing that hangs up there for me, it's the literal translation of what this home is. And what I have in here representing the places I've been has so much surpassed what I ever could have imagined doing. Where I've been and what I've done, unbelievable. So, and this is all representative. I'm gonna get some dry logs to set over here and actually sit around and enjoy this for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a good fire, guys. I'm glad you guys wanted to do this. I'm home. <laughs>